Oh, Kalu, Boris wants us to go into the kitchen and try out his smoothie recipe. A smoothie? Uh, I can't I have to take this call, hello. Your phone didn't ring. I gotta go. Guys forget about the smoothie, I have much bigger problems to deal with. My revenue is down due to a recent drop in comic book sales. We have noticed that some of the issues have been pretty boring lately. Yeah, in his latest issue Blue Tech noted online traffic school. Well because of the lower sales I am being forced to sell some things in this house, luckily nothing major yet, I'm selling the downstairs TV by the way. You know, me and Leo have pretty creative minds, let us help come up with ideas for the comic books, we can make them much better. Comic books aren't works of fiction. They're the superhero history books. But we saved the world a countless amount of times. Well I do have poor taste and judgment, so fine you can help. But you two are the one to blame if the sales go lower. Here we are, do you have any idea what's on the other side of this door? The superhero comic book department? That's right, you are about to witness the best room you've ever seen. Behold. This is it. One guy, one desk. I just got a desk last week, I used to have to work standing. Lucas's powers allow him to have super fast hand coordination creating 50 panels at once, now I have to go finish that recipe. Lucas, it's an honor to be working with you. We hope some way we can make your comic books better. It's not my fault that crime is down and there's no action, also since the Smasher got married his wife is not letting him do anything dangerous. I was wondering why he spent the whole last issue intriguing in Amish country, but can't we just exaggerate the facts a little to make them a little more interesting? Yeah, Kalu's dad is going to sell the TV and that's the only reason I come over his house. Well, I suppose we could exaggerate things a little. Hold on, I'm getting a vision, the Smasher is arguing with his wife. Yeah, this is a perfect start, but how about we change arguing to battling and wife to reptilian death beast? Oh, so you've met her. Boys, great work, comic book sales are way up, we're rolling in money now. At this rate, you can buy some bigger swim trunks that actually fits you. Hello. Dark Warrior. What happened? I was trying to stop the evil dreadlock from sabotaging the commuter railway. I threw him off the speeding loon motive and stopped the train from derailing but he blasted me. We can't let people read a comic book with the sending. Your whole image is about fear and intimidation. Wait. We can just convince Lucas to change the ending, that way we can save his reputation. Good idea. So, I have bad news. The bad news is there's no way I can battle for at least two more weeks. Ugh, but I have some good news. The latest issue of your comic book is out, and I tweaked the ending so that you threw Dreadlock off of a train. What? You can't do that, there will be ramifications, you can't just rewrite history. Dark Warrior, listen, you're missing the big picture, this is good for you. You so-called superheroes know me as Dreadlock, the Dark Warrior says he defeated me, I say he's a liar. Don't worry he can't prove it. Yes I can. What? I can hear you, this is a two-way broadcast, and to set the record straight, I challenge Dark Warrior to a battle on the roof of Nakatoim Tower at 8 o'clock tonight. Now what? I can barely walk. No big deal, just don't show up. I can still hear you. And if he doesn't show up, I'll destroy Independent Hall, and if any other superheroes show up to stop me, I'll take out the whole city. This is all your fault, you see what happens when you change history? I know, but on the bright side, if Dreadlock kills you we won't have to change the ending of that comic book. No wonder Dreadlock is so angry, you made him look totally weak. In hindsight writing, I want my mommy in his thought bubble may have been a mistake. There's only one way to prevent Dreadlock from wreaking havoc on the city, 
I need to go battle him tonight. You can't, you're too weak. And you're hooked up to a pain management machine. I don't need pain management, I'm the dark warrior. <coughs> okay, that machine was doing more than I thought. Wait, what if we find another superhero to get in your suit, and pretend to be you? Good idea, but one of you guys needs to get in my suit because no other superheroes will fit. Well, I'll be Dark Warrior then. It's 5 past 8 o'clock and Dreadlock's still not here. Maybe he caught one glimpse of me and dreaded for the hill. Oh there he is. The Dark Warrior, I didn't think you were man enough to show up. I am more than man enough. Kaylee, your voice. I am more than man enough. taught me every skill he knew, and now those skills will be your undoing. You may have learned how to use those skills, but not why to use them, Dreadlock. You're not Dark Warrior, you're just a kid. And you're not Dreadlock. Fine, I'm not the evil Dreadlock, I'm just his assistant. Job. Dreadlock came down with a stomach virus so he made me come in his place. If this flasco shows up in the comic books, Dreadlock will be humiliated and fire me. Like he'll literally light me on fire with his flamethrower, he is very evil. Then I think I know what to do. And then the Dark Warrior and Dreadlock tumble off of the rooftop into the inky night below, to be continued. Fine, we'll go with your ending, but send sales are up, you think I could get a pencil sharpener, it's extremely dangerous doing it with this. <laughs>